in order to implement box view we'll be uh, using the csap uh, page inside our dotnet maui project so if it is a dotnet maui csap template you can select the csap template project or uh, the normal jaml project is okay so here we'll be first of all creating one page that is uh, the content page which is uh, which belongs to dotnet mau so here you can see that is our content page uh, csap and i'll just keep that page name as uh, maui box view and then uh, the page that's all now we can just add it and here you can see uh, we have successfully created one uh, brand new dotnet maui sisa page so whenever our application starts it starts from the app.jaml.cs here we are uh, defined that uh, to start a new page that is our app cell so here we can just remove the app cell and simply type maui view say sub page because that is also a ui which uh, will load directly so i'll just uh, uh, comment this thing out and we can just call that maui box view sub page directly from here that is our app dot jaml dot cs so here you can see i've just called that page and we can direct it on the application or else we can just define it inside the app cell uh, so let's uh, comment that code and uh, now i'll just open the app cell whenever the our application loads so this cell encapsulates the ui so here in the local namespace i have my page that is my box view sub page and if you have created some folders and then page then you can have to uh, define the local namespace now it's time to uh, write the c sub code before that we'll be implementing one plugin whose uh, uh, name is inside the browse section here we'll just search for community toolkit markup so let's add it to the project so that's all and uh, it will just install the uh, community toolkit plugin to all the projects that we have inside our dotnet maui project so i'll just accept it after the installation is done then you will get uh, this readme file where you will just copy this code then we are going to paste it inside the uh, myoi program.cs so here in the builder section over here we'll just paste this code that's all we have successfully configured our uh, uh, csap uh, markup and now it's time to write some uh, csap code for our ui that is our box view so here uh, this will be a very short tutorial so let's run the application at first and see whether we are able to build our brand new dotnet maui project or not great we see our application up and running that is this ui here i have fast forwarded this video to save some time here uh, we have one box view which is placed inside vertical stack layout and we are going to place this vertical stack layout to the topmost part of the ui don't forget to put this namespace at top because we are using community toolkit.maui.markup for implementing some good feature inside it that is at a height of 200 inside our box view so we'll be playing around more with this uh, uh, plugin in our next tutorials so let's run the application and then see whether we are able to get one box view which will start from top of the screen so let's wait for some time till our application gets built so here the application is up and running all right so here you can see i have done some mistake on the background color of the uh, box view the correct property of the box view should be color equals to colors dot uh, conflower view so uh, that is what let's uh, rerun the application back again and see whether it gives us successful output or not with correct background color great we see as expected output and you can play around with all the values uh, that you really like as well as uh, you really want your project to have so that's all for this tutorial now thank you guys thanks for watching keep in touch for next tutorials